Thank you, Ms. Pearl Shongwe. Let's take a look at your top stories. Family and friends have been left traumatized following the death of a UKZN student at the Westville campus in Durban. Police in KwaZulu Natal say they believe that Samuel Zondi, who was allegedly killed by his roommate, might have been murdered first before his body was satellite. The 25-year-old suspect has since been arrested and is expected in court tomorrow. It is alleged that Zondi was last seen with his friend whom he, who lured him to the bushes before killing him. The Inkata Freedom Party in Gauteng has elected a new provincial leadership. The party members met in Boxburg, east of Johannesburg. Bonginkosi Lamini has retained the position of party chair in Gauteng and Zandile Majosi is still deputy chair. The party is hoping to grow in its second biggest province, Gauteng. It says it's working on a roadmap for its new leaders. And at least five people are now known to have died as Typhoon Hagibis moves through Japan. More than 270,000 homes lost power and nearly 100 people have been injured. Meanwhile, today's Rugby World Cup match in Japan between Namibia and Canada has been cancelled. However, the US, Tonga and Wales-Uruguay matches are to go ahead. The crunch game between Scotland and the hosts Japan is also due to go ahead after safety inspections. And India remains in the driving seat after day three of the second test against South Africa in Pune. The hosts enforced their follow-on this morning and the protest lost Aydin Markram to a questionable LBW decision. Now, the current score, nine for the loss of one wicket. Yesterday, the protests were bowled out for 275, with India still leading with a commanding 326-run lead. Runs are coming, but streaky. It's nine for one. And that's it for now. We link back to the weather desk with Pamela, who's got the latest weather details.